Hello, my name is Stuart McPhee, and it's my pleasure today to introduce you to my trade launch systems for MetaStock. It is important before I begin this short video to highlight the disclaimer. This demonstration is designed to inform you of my trade launch systems official add-on and is not a recommendation to buy or sell any financial product. I thought it appropriate to introduce myself briefly before I introduce you to my systems. I started trading back in 1996 and I'm the best-selling author of Trading in a Nutshell in its fourth edition. I've had the pleasure of coaching individually hundreds of traders from all around the world and that has given me great insight into the challenges that traders face on a day-to-day -day basis. I currently trade Australian Securities Exchange equities and currencies. I'm also fortunate that I'm invited and I travel all around the world to speak at major trading events. In this short presentation, I wanted to cover three things. I wanted to briefly introduce you to my trading philosophy. I want to introduce you to the two core systems within my trade launch systems, Altitude and Ignition, and then we'll go into Metastock and provide you a demonstration of the systems. Firstly, my trading philosophy. I really do firmly believe that all traders must develop a trading plan that is right for them. Once they have done that, they implement that with the right mindset, with great discipline, great decisiveness and great confidence. It is very important that traders discover an approach that resonates with them, that suits them and suits their personality. This to me is critical. Your trading plan should encompass three areas on the right hand side, your money management, your methodology and the trading mindset or psychology. Your trading plan at a bare minimum should respond to three questions. Those questions are, number one, under what conditions will you enter a trade? How much money will you commit to the trade? How much money will you risk? And under what conditions will you exit the trade? These three questions should form the backbone of anybody's trading plan. It's interesting to note that the order of importance of these questions is in fact the opposite. To me, the most important question of all those in your trading plan is under what conditions will you exit the trade? How will you close the trade, whether it be at a loss or at a profit? In a very close second is how much money will you risk? How much money will you commit to the trade? How many units will you purchase? How many options will you sell? Um, how many lots or contracts will you buy? And then finally is under what conditions will you enter the trade? To me, trading is very much a process. It is a rules-based activity and it's important that people develop a trading routine and a process to carry them through their trading methodology and to implement their plan. In line with that, I believe that people should aim for consistency in everything they do throughout their trading process. Consistency in the way they enter the market, the way they develop their position sizing models and the way they exit trades. I also believe that less is more. Human beings have a tendency to want to trade often and I often think that trading less is actually better for a trader. When you trade less, you become a lot more selective and only demand higher quality signals before you enter. I also believe that your best trades take time to develop. Your best trades and your best profits do not happen very quickly. They require from you a lot of patience to ensure that you see them through to the end. I also don't believe in using technical analysis tools in isolation. I believe a combination of things that complement each other often works best. And finally, I'm a big advocate of keeping it simple. I believe your trading plans should be simple and I believe as human beings we have a natural tendency to want to complicate things. Finally, an introduction to altitude and ignition. The two main systems within the trade launch systems are the altitude trading system and the ignition trading system. Of course, complementing all of these are numerous indicators, which include trailing ATR and percentage stops, many reversal signals, and also some of my favorite uh, personally developed sentiment indicators. Firstly, the altitude system, it is very much a medium term system 
where positions take often weeks or months to develop. I use a wide stop using an ATR model and this does a very good job of allowing longer term trends, whether they be up or down, to develop and allow you to extract as much out of a good solid move as you can. For those who are a little bit more aggressive and wish to trade shorter term, my ignition system is a very different system and whilst it's trend following, it's looking for the shorter term moves where your profitable trades will last somewhere in the order of days to weeks and accordingly, you'll also use tighter stops. The way you implement these stops are all clearly defined in the manual. As part of the trade launch systems, you'll receive a number of explorers which support the altitude and ignition trading systems, both long and short, and also some reversal signals to identify long and short trading opportunities. There's experts which complement each of those systems, including the reversal signals, and there are numerous indicators, as I mentioned, including some of my sentiment indicators, all the indicators which support the trading systems, as well as a few others. The trade launch systems include all of these items and the recommended retail price is $399. Let's go and have a look now in Metastock and I'd like to show you in a little bit more detail each of these systems. So here we are in Metastock. Remember as part of the trade launch systems there are two main core systems, the altitude trading system and the ignition trading system along with the supporting reversal signals system. I thought I'd show you the altitude system first. Here we have a chart of Apple. The altitude trading system is a very conservative, medium term uh, trading approach, very much a trend following system. You'll notice a trend ribbon displayed at the base of this chart. Quite simply, you'll never receive a short signal whilst you have a long trend ribbon. Conversely, whilst you have a short trend ribbon, you'll never get any long signals just a medium term conservative uh, trend following system. You'll notice right in the middle of the chart here is a recent uh, symbol to go long the 30th of May 2014. If I apply my trailing ATR stop, I simply insert those details 30th of May 2014 and I'll select a multiple of ATR of 5 and I'll apply that to the chart and you can see the red line now is the trailing ATR exit that I've used with this system now for many years. If we're in a long trade, it has enough room to allow for stock price to retreat and go against and have small retracements against the longer term trend. That's the beauty of the trailing ATR stop. It incorporates the volatility and normal trading range of the stock that you are in and places a stop an appropriate distance away to move away from the noise of that back and forth movement as long as the overall trend remains intact. You can see later on as price closed below the red line that would have signaled an exit. Interestingly just a few days later it received another signal and again you would see that trailing ATR stop in place. This particular expert also has commentary which provides a little bit more detail about what we're looking for as well as position size and calculations for you based on parameters that you can alter within the um, indicator. The next system I wanted to show you was the ignition trading system. It's a lot more shorter term and it's a little bit more aggressive than the medium term altitude system. It is still very much a trend following system and likewise with altitude you will not get any uh, long signals when we have a short bias you will not get any short signals when we have a long bias and you can see the various uh, symbols or signals on the chart to indicate the beginning of a new trade because it's a little bit shorter term I use a much tighter uh, trailing exit and initial stop loss with this particular trading system all very clearly explained uh, within the manual of how I in fact uh, use that but still trend following and we're still trying to uh, capture uh, short term moves rather than perhaps the longer term moves. Just give you a bit of an example with this particular signal here to go long the ignition trading system will have you out somewhere around this particular area here whereas if this was a signal in the altitude system trailing ATR stop would be somewhere around where my mouse is 
and would allow price to retrace for a couple of weeks and allowing it mo uh, sorry more room to continue to move and if the ATR stop was placed and this was an altitude signal you probably would have stayed in the trade for some time up in this area here whereas the ignition system would have had you out here and perhaps in again here and perhaps in again so it's a little bit more uh, active and a little bit more uh, aggressive than the altitude system and finally the reversal signals um, you'll just notice here it's just simply uh, an expert advisor where you have all the symbols being shown of all the reversal signals on that particular chart again the manual it describes all of these reversals now of course it cannot pick every single reversal accurately and correctly but of course in trading we just simply cannot do that but you will notice it does a fairly reasonable job of identifying uh, major turning points and reversal points as I mentioned all of these reversals are clearly detailed within the manual within the trade launch systems you receive a number of indicators you'll see here all the reversal signals which you can use at your disposal in other tools that you may develop as well as the other uh, supporting indicators for the altitude and the ignition trading systems well, I hope you've enjoyed that very brief introduction to the trade launch systems with the altitude trading system, the ignition trading system and the reversals signal system. Um, I wish you well with your trading and thanks very much for listening. Bye bye.